Hi, I'm John from LASIK and I'd like to show you how to set up a basic circuit using our circuit board kit with bulk meter and ammeter. First of all, I'm just going to start off with uh, by using a switch in my basic circuit and you can start off with one bulb and then slowly increase. I'm going to go to showing you a basic series and parallel circuit. So there I have my connectors. The nice thing about these connectors is they make solid connections do check that the bulbs are in properly, so that they're actually connecting. And then I have a battery tray here, and I put the cells in. And uh, if I only had one cell or two cells, I could use a pin in the tray, and then just tighten up at the back so that you uh, have a good connection. I find it helpful when working with this to always keep the red lead on the positive and the black lead on the negative. And there I have a series circuit. And what I can show the learners is uh, what happens when a bulb had to blow in a series circuit in your house. If you had it set up like that, that would mean you would have no lights at all. But now we're gonna compare that to a parallel circuit. And there I have my bulbs in parallel. And when I push the switch now, they both are burning. And you'll notice as well that they're burning brighter than they were when they were in series. And now if one of the bulbs had a blow, what would happen? The rest of the circuit still works and it's still receiving the same power. Now, what if I wanted to check how much voltage is, or what is the potential difference over each of these bulbs, or what is the current in, in a different part of the circuit? You're gonna use the voltmeter and the uh, ammeter. The voltmeter you can set up either as part of the circuit or standalone as well as the ammeter, but the voltmeter you need to use in parallel over whatever you're checking. So if I wanted to check the potential difference over this bulb here, I could set it up in parallel either with the connectors over this part of the circuit. I'm going to use these crocodile clips. and then I can get a reading over this bulb, which I have here at just over two volts, keeping in mind that these batteries have been used before. And then over this bulb over here, I'm getting just over two volts. And then they can draw their conclusions about the total voltage and the and potential difference over the battery and the potential difference that we are getting over each of these bulbs. Now I can do the same with the series circuit, making sure that I keep it in parallel. Whereas the ammeter needs to be set up in series. So how I can do that here is I'm going to just remove the voltmeter so you can see. And then connect the ammeter in series with this bulb to get a reading here. And there you can see I've got my reading at 0.2 amps. And then if I wanted to connect it in another part of the circuit, again, I'm going to need to keep it in series. So here I'm going to check. I've got the same voltage reading uh, at each of the bulbs, and I want to check what is the, the current going to be in the different branches of the parallel circuit. And there I get a reading of just over 0.2 amps. Right. Then I can also check the current through the whole circuit. Now I'd just like to point out that we also include uh, nichrome wire, eureka wire and copper wire which is used to check the resistance in a conductor. The longer the conductor gets, uh, the more resistance you're going to notice. And we also include a variable resistor which is great in just adjusting the voltage or current flow through the circuit. I hope you've enjoyed this, I hope you enjoy using the, the circuit board and please check our website for other great resources. Thank you.